what's whoa battery that's so okay anyway <laughs> what's up peace so this video is going to be of what I felt helped me get through chem 1 the things that I did that helped me to push myself to get the highest grade possible so the relevance of this video you know fall semester is about to start I know there's going to be a lot of upcoming freshmen that are pre-meds that are most likely going to be taking Chem 1. So this video is for you. So check it out. Number one. Oh yeah, I'm going to break this into two parts. One is going to be for a lecture and two is going to be for a lab. So check it out. So for lecture, number one, practice your problems. Like some of you guys already know this. Definitely focus more on solving problems. You are in the class to solve problems. When you take an exam, you could read all day long. You could look at the PowerPoint all day long. Look at the slides. Read the book. At the end of the day, you're going to be given a test. And it's going to have what on there? Problems. So perfect on practicing the problems, understanding them, knowing why you got them wrong. And for example, like the book. Yeah. And like the inspiration for this first step, there's this video that Doc... Osare made. I'm gonna put a link to that video and he's basically saying the same thing. Focus more on solving the problems. When you have your book, the book has a shitload of problems. I tried to do all of them and some of those problems showed up on the test. So definitely do that. That's one. Okay, two. Office hours, right? Office hours are basically times that your professor sets up to allow students to come in and ask questions. Um, and also, a professor uses that to grade papers and stuff like that. But definitely, if you're able to, and if you have a problem in the class, if there's a question that you do not understand, show up to the professor's office hours. There are like three times, three or four times I showed up to the professor's office hours. And there's this couple of questions that really was bugging me. Oh, again, battery's about to die. And he solved those problems for me on a sheet of paper, gave it to me, went home, practiced it. Those same problems showed up on the quiz and some on the exam. <laughs> so imagine if I didn't go to office hours, you know, I would have probably got those questions wrong. So that's two, go to your professor's office hours. Three, please don't leave early in lecture. <laughs> you are paying for a class. You're paying to have the professor in, sit in front of you and you're leaving early, unless it's an emergency. Right when you leave, professor might say something very important, might give out points, you know what I'm saying? So definitely try not to leave early if it's not an emergency. Um, YouTube, that's my fourth one. Dude, YouTube, what do I mean? There's gonna be times when your professor's speaking, talking about a concept, might be talking about Lewis dot structures or Haber's, born Haber cycle or hybridization, you might not know what the heck your teacher is saying, your professor is saying. So what do you do? Go on YouTube. There's probably somebody else who explains it so simple, you know. Um, this one time I was having big problems with Hess's law, did not understand what the professor was saying. Went to YouTube, searched up a video, watched it, understood it with a couple of videos, but I understood it. So I didn't stress out about that too much. So YouTube, what else? Group sessions. What are group sessions? Basically, you team up. Team up with friends, hit up the library, knock down practice problems. In our library, there were separate rooms that we could reserve, study rooms that we could reserve. And with a group of people, there's whiteboards in the study room. You know what I'm saying? Grab a marker, knock down some problems, simple as, <laughs> you know, and that's why I have, that's why I even have a marker, because, you know, go in there, do your, do our thing. <laughs> okay, so, um, what else? Apps. Periodic table app. Definitely hit me up. Definitely help me out big time. What else? And a flashcard app, because there were times where I had to... We had to memorize the, you know, strong acids and strong bases, cations, um, polyatomic cation, polyatomic anions, and what else? Solubility rules. You know what I mean? 
like knowing that nitrates are soluble with anything with any element you know and specific cation, specific anions like sulfates and carbonates won't be soluble or insoluble with things like um with lead um lead mercury and silver i think i don't remember anyway there's some things you're gonna have to memorize definitely flashcards i used an app so okay moving on lab okay for lab let me let me start off with the most important thing youtube your labs again youtube but seriously when you walk in lab well maybe or at least we did we got a we received a lab manual and this manual displayed all the labs you know what i'm saying density of them blah 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 all our labs were shown in there and if you're walking into chemistry maybe this is the first chemistry class you're taking or maybe you need to fresh up and you might not know what a titration is you might not know what how do you um what a pka is so what do you do go on youtube and look up the labs and then what, what's going to happen is you'll be a step ahead you'll walk into lab and you'll know what you're what you're supposed to do you know what i mean so definitely do that two friends like seriously you um in our lab we didn't have lab partners we had to do everything ourselves so what happened is uh there might be a time where you don't know how to do a procedure so you can definitely ask somebody that's next to you yo how do i do this what are you supposed to do because sometimes you just won't understand the procedure you know at least that's what happened to me okay next um lab professor hit up your lab professor you know um our lab professor was super cool and if i had when i had problems with certain things questions i could always hit him up because um sometimes i didn't like how he explained the procedures he didn't really explain to me fully in my perspective but he would always answer my questions whenever i had to walk up to him you know like you know what what are we doing you know <laughs> how am i supposed to do this what am i supposed to look for how do I calculate this? So I always hit him up for that and he'll answer my question and that was really cool. So that's it, you know, to, to summarize, right? Lecture, right? For lecture, practice your problems. Go to your office hours, your professor's office hours. Don't leave early in, le in lecture. YouTube, anything that you have trouble with on. Go to um, definitely set up group sessions. Six apps like periodic table app, flashcards that help me. And for lab, YouTube again, YouTube your labs. Hit up your friends, hit up people next to you if you don't know what you're doing, or you may have a lab partner. And seven, lab professor. Go to your lab professor for any questions. So that's basically it. Definitely get ready to get ready for a lot of struggle oh a lot of struggle sorry the video is long but a lot of information definitely go in go in and those are the things that i felt like had helped me so stay positive and if you have any questions shoot me a comment and or message peace